Holy Spider by Ali Abbasi tells a gripping tale of a serial killer who kills indigent female sex workers in Mashhad, a holy city in Iran, by strangling them with their own headscarves under the cover of the night sky. The film's plot revolves around the perilous pursuits of journalist Arzu Rahimi, who in a life-or-death sting operation chases the serial killer and cracks the case of the mysterious killing spree. Holy Spider is based on true events. It is a haunting crime thriller that delves into the dark story of Saeed Haney, a serial killer who terrorized the Iranian holy city of Mashhad in 2000. In 2001, the Iranian police captured him for the horrific murder of 16 female sex workers, but the contrast of the situation was that while the stories of these women were tragic and gut-wrenching, Saeed Haney and his family, as well as some religiously inclined general public of Iran, showed no remorse for his heinous crimes. On the contrary, they made official protests in front of the court for Saeed Haney's acquittal. In an interview with an Iranian journalist, Saeed blatantly stated, if I hadn't been captured, I would still be on the streets of Mashhad murdering other women. Saeed Haney claimed he was fulfilling his religious duty of cleansing the holy city. The title, Holy Spider, is a reference to the killer's pattern of luring his victims with his web of lies and deceit, only to strike like a spider. But the title also holds a deeper meaning, as Mashhad is a city steeped in religious significance, with the Imam Reza Shrine at its center, a beacon of light in the city that attracts pilgrims from all over the world. From a distance, the shrine and the roads connecting it appear as thin strands of light, creating an image that resembles a spider and its web. This metaphor is cleverly incorporated into the film's title, depicting religious hypocrisy in Iran and a haunting backdrop for the story of the killer who operated in the shadow of the holy city. Director Ali Abbasi masterfully sets the stage with this stunning visual metaphor, painting a picture of a city that appears holy and peaceful from a distance, but hides a dangerous underbelly. Saeed Haney served in the Iranian army during the eight-year Iran-Iraq war that began in 1980. Post-war, he also worked as a construction worker in Mashhad. One of the main reasons for Saeed's downfall was his fervent religious beliefs. While walking down the street, a taxi driver mistakenly took his wife for a sex worker, which triggered his criminal instinct. With the rise of prostitution and drug abuse in the city that added to his dilemma, he believed the Iran he fought for in the army was being squandered. The film cleverly depicts Saeed's mental instability in various scenarios like when his son accidentally hits him in the head with a football, which enrages Saeed enough to chase him down and bash him. When his friend asks if he is seeing another woman, he loses his cool. He panics and begins reciting holy scriptures in the bathroom when a sex worker he is about to kill accidentally touches his beard. These scenes imply his abnormal mental state. In an interview, he stated that when the drought ended and it began raining after his twelfth killing, it showed that God was looking favorably at him and had taken notice of his work. This means that his religious ideas had entirely taken over his mind and the killings were like sacrifices made to God. Saeed Haney's perception of street women was clouded by his own biases and beliefs. He felt that their mere existence was an affront to the nation and the sacrifices made by its martyrs. He saw himself as an anti-street women activist, not a killer, and he wanted others to view him as such. However, the newspapers painted a different picture, one, of a man who had taken the law into his own hands and committed horrific crimes while the other conservative newspapers favored his crime. Iranian actor Mehdi Bahistani delivers a chilling and haunting portrayal of Saeed Haney. He brings the infamous killer to life in the film, with his chilling performance as the spider killer in the holy city of Mashhad. With a haunting stare, he captures the essence of a man driven by madness and a disturbed childhood. He presents a complex character, a man haunted by his past and the abuse he suffered from his mother. 
Despite being a husband and a father of three children, Hane's dark desire to kill became his ultimate obsession. Bahestani masterfully portrays Hane's internal struggle, from his seemingly normal facade to his frightening, cold-blooded alter ego. The audience is drawn into his twisted mind, as he leaves a trail of destruction in his wake. Every time he appears on screen, a sense of unease creeps into the audience, as they brace themselves for the inevitable horror that follows. Bahestani's portrayal of the serial killer is a masterclass in acting, and he is well deserving of the recognition and accolades that have come his way. His performance is a testament to his versatility as an actor, as he brings a level of nuance and depth to a character that many would find reprehensible. Journalist Arzu Rahimi, portrayed by the talented Iranian French actress Zahar Amir Ibrahimi, has a very captivating introduction in the film. When Arzu tries to check into a hotel as a single woman, she is denied a room. But she is provided one when she reveals her profession as a journalist. Ali Abbasi masterfully highlights the issue of misogyny in Iranian society through this introduction of the character. Although Arezu's role in the film is not based on the actual events, she serves as a catalyst for the plot. As a victim of the patriarchal society herself, her determination to carry out a dangerous sting operation while posing as a sex worker and taking on the role of the scapegoat adds an extra layer of excitement to the story. Rahimi's unwavering tenacity to bring the victims to justice is matched only by her courage as she fearlessly delves deeper into the shadowy and dangerous underworld of Mashad. Her relentless pursuit of the truth takes her to the brink as she faces off against the cunning and brutal murderer. With each dangerous step she takes, the tension and suspense build up, leaving the audience on the edge of their seats. Tsar Amir Ibrahimi brings Rahimi to life with her stunning performance, delivering an unforgettable portrayal of a fierce, independent woman who refuses to back down in the face of danger. Her talent shines through in every frame, and her powerful presence on screen leaves a lasting impact. This film is a testament to her immense talent and her unwavering dedication to her craft, which makes her truly deserving of the Cannes Silver Palm Award for Best Actress. Ali Abbasi's masterful touch brings every nuance and detail of the story to life, weaving a captivating and intense cinematic experience that immerses the viewer in the heart of the film. Every frame of the film is a testament to the director's meticulous attention to detail, showcasing his ability to create a rich and vivid world that transcends the boundaries of the screen. With each scene, Ali Abbasi builds a sense of tension and drama that grips the audience. At the end of the film, the director leaves us with a question by displaying the most terrifying aspect of the incident, the influence of Saeed's actions on his elder son. The young boy saw his father's acts as justified and believed that his father's mission should continue after his arrest. This type of twisted thinking and belief in violence as a means to an end can have far-reaching consequences, perpetuating cycles of violence and intolerance. In his diary, Saeed wrote of his belief that the women's appearance, including their hair showing from under their scarves, was a disrespectful insult to the prophet and the martyrs. The story of Saeed Hane was a cautionary tale, a warning of what can happen when a society turns a blind eye to injustice and oppression. Yet, despite his punishment, the seeds of hatred and intolerance continued to flourish in Iran, giving rise to a new generation of oppressors. The death of Masa Amini, a young woman whose only crime was to express herself in a way that defied the government's strict standards, was a wake-up call to a nation that had grown complacent in the face of oppression. The protests that erupted in the streets of Tehran on September 16, 2022, were a powerful reminder that the struggle for freedom and justice is never truly over. Through his film, director Ali Abbasi has posed a critical question to the people of Iran. How can a society truly flourish when the religious motivations of a government control the law and the lives of its citizens? The answer, it seems, lies in the bravery and determination of those who stand up against oppression and fight for change. 
Ali Abbasi is a critically acclaimed Iranian film director and screenwriter, known for his unique and mesmerizing films. Abbasi's films often explore themes of identity, cultural heritage, and the complexities of human relationships. He rose to prominence with his debut feature film, Shelley, a dark and atmospheric horror film that premiered at the 66th Berlin International Film Festival. The film received widespread critical acclaim, earning praise for its unconventional storytelling and thought-provoking themes. Since then, Abbasi has continued to push the boundaries of genre filmmaking, producing films that are both entertaining and deeply introspective. His 2018 film, Border, is a prime example of his style, combining elements of romance and mystery to tell a compelling story. The film was a critical and commercial success, earning Abbasi international recognition and numerous award nominations. It won the Uncertain Regard Award at the 2018 Cannes Film Festival and was selected as the Swedish entry for the Best Foreign Language Film at the 91st Academy Awards. He is also responsible for directing episodes of the American post-apocalyptic HBO drama series, The Last of Us. With his unique and thought-provoking films, Ali Abbasi has established himself as one of the most exciting and innovative directors working in the industry today. Whether exploring dark and twisted genre films or thought-provoking dramas, his work always challenges audiences and forces them to see the world in a new light. Thank you for watching our review and we hope you enjoyed our analysis of this powerful and thought-provoking film. Let us know your perception of the film in the comments and which other films you would like to see us review in the future. And don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button to show your support and encourage us to make more great content like this. We appreciate your feedback and look forward to hearing your thoughts on this and other films. Until next time, happy viewing.